Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So happy to have you here. I am gonna talk really quick about where I've been the last couple of uploads and we're uploading this on a weird day. Uh, yeah, a lot of you probably caught uh, the updates of where I was. If you haven't and you're curious, you can listen. If you're not, I will put the time on the screen of where the actual Shop Miss A haul begins. Uh, but yeah, if you do wanna know what's been up, <sighs> grab a seat. Uh, so poor little Luna the other morning woke up like she was really sleepy the day before and she's, she's always sleepy. She's a sleepy bean. She's either wild or she's sleepy because she's so wild when she's awake. She's always got so much energy and, uh, she woke up and she was literally running around, jumping around, being so happy, uh, after sleeping all day the day before. But then she looked at me and her little cheek was huge. So she ended up having an abscess. And of course there was like a day where we didn't know exactly what was going on. And we, we had an idea that that was what was going on, but obviously I didn't know for sure, but we got her into the vet as soon as I possibly could. And she's doing really great. Let's see. She had her abscess taken care of on Monday and had some drains put in, she's got a cone. And then last night, um, she just kept kicking the cone because of course she did. Uh, but somehow she made that drain go loose. The drain went literally flying. She shook her head really fast and it just like, I caught the whole thing because guys, I've been, I've been like staring at her nonstop making sure she's just fine. <laughs> and so that was wild to see, but she, I took her in this morning everything's going okay. They're just going to leave the drain out for now. Um, I'm just going to keep an eye on her and she goes back in 10 days for a checkup. Um, and in a couple days, I'm going to take the cone off her because it's healing up now, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been very, very stressful. Any of you guys know me, know that my cats are my kids. You guys know clearly I work from home. I just, they are my everything. You guys know Luna is such a huge part of this channel. Uh, you guys love her so much and she's just the sweetest bean. She's been such a good bean. Um, mine is kicking. <laughs> I don't blame her though. I don't blame her. If I was wearing a cone and like all uncomfortable and I, I mean, you know, it happens. Uh, but besides kicking her drain out, She's been absolutely perfect. You guys will see her again soon. She ran down here, but I had to move the cage back into the garage and she saw that I <laughs> grabbed the cage and booked it back upstairs. So uh, maybe she'll come down, maybe she won't, but honestly, you guys probably want to wait to see her until she's all healed up. Uh, but I will give her love for all of you guys, everyone that had kind words <laughs> to say thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to go on too much more because then I'll start crying again. And I finally, I, this is the first time I put on makeup in like a week um, and done my hair in like a week. So I just need to like get this one video filmed. I'm just shooting for one today because you guys, it's been such a long week already. It's only Wednesday. You're probably gonna see this tomorrow on Thursday because I'm just gonna try and get it up as soon as I can because you missed Monday and Wednesday uploads. <gasps> Girl, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this haul. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and the kind thoughts and everything. Binks has joined us. Uh, but I will give Luna all of your guys' love and I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'll try and pop in a picture really quick because I took the cutest picture of her yesterday um, and she's doing really good. I'm very proud of her. And again, she was so good. She got like a little reward for bravery because she didn't scratch. She didn't bite. She didn't even like yell. She just, you know, she was shaking because she was so scared, but she was so good. She was so good. Oh my goodness. I'm so thankful. Um, I really love her new vet too. So that's wonderful. Uh, whew breathe. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about some makeup. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to be a little bit crazy today. What is new? What is new? But anyway, for real, let's go ahead and jump into the Shop Missy haul. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, normally. Next week should be, knock on wood, should be golden. Of course, Luna comes first before anything, but okay. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, loves, I'm sure most of you guys know what Shop Miss A is. Uh, it's like an online dollar store. They have accessories, they have makeup. Pretty much everything in here I think is just makeup and skincare kind of stuff, uh, but they do have accessories and stuff as well. Uh, I am an affiliate with them, so I do have an affiliate link. If you guys wanna use it, that would be great. Uh, I just earned a very small commission, and honestly, it would be amazing because I've got the vet bills and a million other things going on. It's a little overwhelming, but not that that's your responsibility at all. But if you wanna use those links, it would be great. I'll just link the link down below in the description box. If you can't find the description box, just look next to the title. If you're on mobile and there's like a little arrow right next to the title, click it and you will have your description box. Okay, so most of this is an order that I just placed, just got, it literally arrived today. I was like, bless you, Shop Miss A for arriving today because this is such like, 
it's a much it's a very low-key video to film and an exciting one because they have some new stuff and I was really excited to check it out and then a few things are from my last haul which wasn't very big uh so I didn't really film on it and I just double checked and I don't think that I talked about these products that I have sitting right here already uh but if I did I'm sorry but I really don't think I did <laughs> I even tried to double check but you never know you never know all right we're a little more up close and personal I think I have makeup on my sweater please don't judge me I changed twice and then I couldn't be bothered so <laughs> that's what it is okay here is my latest haul and then I've got my other one right here um yeah I've used a couple things out of that one but this is all mostly brand new stuff so I am just gonna pull things out and show them to you. We've got new lipsticks, we've got new eyeshadows. I picked up a couple sponges. I haven't, I don't know if I've even tried the black Wonder Blender, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, the whole reason I made the order was because I needed new Wonder Blenders. I normally use the pink one or the nude one. Um, I grabbed a couple, but I thought I would just try this one because I don't think I have. And I don't know, I was like, I'll give it a go. Uh, I think I remember hearing this one is a little bit firmer than the other ones, but I don't know. I'm down to try it. They came out with little face dampers, and I grabbed the star. They have also a heart and a flower. I hope they come out with a moon. A moon would be cute. I don't know when I'm going to ever use this, but I got it anyway. I thought maybe we could look at it. Um, yeah, let me just pop it open. But look how cute this packaging is. That's cute. They always have the cutest packaging. Oh, that's rat. So it comes with like an actual liner and a star stamp. So you've got both. Sorry, I've got concealer on my hand. What? Ooh, that's nice. It's nice. They have another dollar one uh, that's just a liquid liner and not also a star stamp, obviously. And I really like that one. So I'm feeling I'm going to like this one. Um, when you stamp it, it does kind of leave the middle out, but then that's very, very easily fixable with the other end. So I'm glad that they did that. That makes perfect sense. I think this is rad. So many people charge so much for these stamps and this is a dollar. A dollar? I'm pretty sure it's just a dollar. Oh, it's a paw paw. So it was probably, oh, it's a dollar 55. So a dollar 55, uh, the paw paw charity is for animals in need. So always wonderful. That's cute. If you guys want me to try and incorporate that into a look, let me know, I'll do my best. So I also grabbed a nude Wonder Blender because this one has been my favorite. The last one I got wasn't quite the same as the one before that I had. Uh, so I thought I would get another one and see how that goes, if it's the same as the one that I love or not. And then let me just go ahead and get this other one out of the way. I just stocked up on sponges. I know I have another one of these pink ones somewhere, but I just was like, <laughs> I'm just going to get it because better safe than sorry. And you can never have too many. And for $1.55, I would rather be backed up on sponges and be covered. I love using sponges. I still use a sponge every single day. I used to be all about the brushes, but now I'm, I've been all about the sponges for a while. I'm sure you guys know. Uh, what is this? We have a brow pencil, the slim brow. I just got one. I think I got one in medium brown and one in taupe. Uh, so yeah, this is just the brow pencil. I love their little precision brow pencils. Oh, they're blushes, they're blushes. I forgot about those, so excited. Here's the other precision brow pencil. So yeah, I got mine in medium brown and taupe. I really do like those. I've got a lip products. I'm probably most excited about these guys. I ended up just getting every single color in the two new ones that they have. So I could swatch them for you. Seven, eight, eight shades in this. These are the special day lip crayon. Oh my goodness, these colors look really good. I'm so Pumped. This, I gotta, I have to swatch this one first. Oh, that's really pretty. So this one right here is Honeymoon. I think Honeymoon's probably gonna be my favorite, but there are a couple more that look good. I feel like this is one of the lighter nudes. Uh, let me see if it says, I wanna see what they, what the claims are of this for you guys. Beautiful shade range of creamy lip crayons, soft, buttery, satin finish, comes in eight shades. Get the entire collection and save 5%, which is what I did. Um, sharpen with a pencil sharpener. It looks like, it doesn't say anything more than that, but uh, it looks like it's going to just be like a hydrating lip crayon. So that's cool. So again, that first one was Honeymoon. This one is definitely warmer. It is that one right there. This proposal. So Luna's down here, sweet angel, came down. She just burst into the room with her tiny cone on. I'm gonna see if I can 
show. Oh, never mind. She doesn't need my help. Oh, sweet. How did I know this was gonna happen? Hi, you say hi. Oh, there's her good side. That's not always. You say hi. She's doing good. She's got lots and lots of energy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I just took off all the packaging and the sticker for the shade name is not on there. Uh, so I know this one should be fiance because I just took it off and set it there. There's another one that I accidentally took off the name too. So let's see. Oh man, I already smudged those. So they're definitely not a long lasting situation, but they are lip crayons. So I did not expect that. Uh, so right here, this kind of ruddy one. That one is fiance. This one I also tore off on accident, but this one is engaged, which is definitely an orangey bean. Right here. You guys know the drill. Luna's just gonna wreck havoc behind me and it's fine. <laughs> uh, anniversary. This looks like it's gonna be a really good one, one that I'm gonna really enjoy too. I'm gonna put it over here. I still think honeymoon's gonna be my favorite. Right here, we've got bridal party down here. Oh, that's really pretty. Bridal party. Bachelorette. Ooh, that's pretty. Just a, a bright red. Oh, oh no. This is the la last one. Okay, I will try and look online and figure out what the name of this one is because apparently I tore this off before even realizing this one is, is a super orangey bean. Definitely not my type of shade, but could be fun for the holidays for sure. Um, I mean, I'll wear anything once, twice, depending on the look. Uh, but honestly, you guys know me. I love a nude so much, but I also do really love a red. So those are really pretty if you're wanting something that's a little bit less long lasting when I wear a bright color I normally go for. I don't know, I feel like they're really nice. They're really hydrating. Uh, they look just like a super colorful, you know, they're a lip cray crayon, kind of like a balm, if that makes sense. Those seem really nice, excited to try them. Look at them more. So many new eyeshadows, so many new lip products. So they have tons of these new little eyeshadow trios or quads. I believe I already showed you guys these because I used one, I think I used one in a video. Um, there are these ones. I've got all of these little Orbit eyeshadow ones, which there's four. Uh, there's normally four of these. I don't know where the other one is right now. So we're just gonna, it's whatever one I used in that tutorial. And then we've got the, are they all Flower Child? Flower Child colorful uh, quads, so. Peace and Love, which is this kind of purpley one. Ooh, those are really nice. It's right down there, those three. So I'm gonna say really, especially for the price, they got they got good eyeshadows. So again, this is Peace and Love. This guy looks like such a great, like a matte everyday shades. Really, really think I'm gonna like this one. You can see them over here. Very nice, very nice, especially this little like orangey. Gorgeous. Honestly, I feel like you could buy these two and like have a perfect neutral set for like any day ever. Uh, so this one, again, this is Mother Earth. I didn't say that. So Mother Earth is the matte one. And then Patience is the shimmery one. Of course, they're in very inexpensive packaging, uh, but I mean, again, they're, they're, they're literally a dollar. I don't even think they're, yeah, I don't think they're anything like a dollar. Ooh, this looks pretty. I am, I'm just gonna swatch it down here on my arm. I'm gonna go wash my hands in a minute. This one right here looks so pretty, that top one. I swatched them in a weird place because you know, why wouldn't I? They're just so light. That's the problem is why you can't really see them. It's just like a light champagne, a like kind of peachy shade and then a bronze. So of course you can see the bronze. Uh, they're just lighter, they're lighter, but they're really pretty. This is gonna be a great lid shade. Uh, yeah, any of them would be a great lid shade. Go ahead, let's do the colorful ones and then we'll do the rest of the nude ones. So the first one right here, this is Flower Child eyeshadow in Indigo Child. So we've got three mattes and a shimmer right there. The shimmer is the bottom purple right here. Of course, like the nudie shade is really hard to see. Um, that's just a little boop boop, so not the most pigmented in the world, but honestly, purples, they're hard. We'll see how the other ones go. Uh, the colors are extremely pretty. You might just have to build them up. Uh, just use a really sticky base and you should be good. Um, now we have a green one and this one is in Her Herba Garden. Just kidding, Herb Garden. Um, Herb Garden. So two greens, a champagne -y, and a matte cream shade. Ooh, yeah, these are a little bit more pigmented than the last ones were, uh, but it might just be, you know, I may have just pushed harder. I don't know. 
Ooh, that champagne is so pretty. I hope you can see it. It's right there. It's hard to tell if it's really showing up as beautiful as it is. Um, <laughs> sorry to flip you off backwards, but you can see how pretty it is on my fingertip. I think if you just like, you know, use a sticky base and pack it on, that's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so again, this one is Herb Garden. We have a blue one and a pinky one left of these. She is blue. So again, bird watching is what this one is called. Okay. Oh my, oh my goodness, you guys, that's so pretty, so pretty. Oh, wow, that's freaking gorgeous. A dollar, how do they do it? And they even put in a very nice like neutral shade to help blend it out. If you're having trouble with bright shades like this, always start with like a shade kind of like this and put that in the crease first and then just below it, blend a brighter shade into it. It's what I normally do. It just helps it look a little bit more natural. It has something to blend out into. Um, it's just a se more seamless look usually because sometimes when I put on shades like this and I don't do that, I feel like it's just like, it's a lot, it's a lot. So right there are those. Definitely think this is gonna be a great palette. You sun print? sun print hmm. all right those lip pencils definitely stay in a little bit i just scrubbed my hands and again they killed it with putting like a very neutral shade in there i feel like it's very important oh that coppery shade it looks just like matte coppering i used to be obsessed with matte coppering back in the day okay you can't really see this neutral shade because it's very light uh, but there's this one and again this one is sun print very pretty very impressed with these. I don't know. I think the purple one just wasn't as pigmented as the rest, but besides that, I'm very impressed. And then here are the Orbit eyeshadows. I'm going to go ahead and just keep swatching them because they're right here. I'm just going to keep going because there's so many. Uh, so this one is Mercury right here. I think there's a satin, two shimmers, and a matte is what this looks like. Ooh, those look really pretty. I'm sorry, my fingertips are starting to get stained because there are so many. So far, this shimmer, wow, so pretty. So, so those look really nice as well. Again, Mercury. And then, ooh, we've got a more warm one. This is a total, ooh, let me see so you can see it. This is totally up my alley. This is my jam. Let's see how it is. Again, trying to swatch a matte cream shade is obviously really difficult to do, but I'm gonna do my best. That again, this shimmer, they're killing it with these like champagne shimmers and all of these. There's some good ones. So down here, definitely a really great everyday neutral palette. Again, I feel like I can get quite a few looks out of this one. If there was maybe two mattes and two shimmers, I think that it would be even better. Honestly, I like the vibe of like three mattes and a shimmer, uh, just because I only really put shimmers on my lid. But yeah, this one looks really good too. Mars is this one. This kind of cool toned baby. This is Saturn. Okay, these are all matte. So this is a matte cool toned palette. Very terrible at it. But this is a really pretty light palette. Honestly, you can see the darker shades right there, it's down here. I'm sorry that it's in such a weird place. I'm clearly not prepared today, but that's okay. Again, this little cool toned matte one is Saturn. And then we have the last one in those new quads. This is Neptune, obviously. Oh my goodness, this looks gorgeous. Let me get this open so you can see before I swatch it. Look at that glittery black kind of gunmetal. Oh, that looks so pretty, so pretty. Gonna be a good one for holiday. Oh my good, I have to swatch this one. For, oh, oh my goodness. Beautiful. I'm swatching it on the wrong. You ready? Look at this. Boom, so pretty. Okay, this one you can't see at all. I'm not gonna lie. But you can see the other three. Let me get this one on here. They're actually really pretty. I really, it's always hard to tell on this screen if they're really coming through. I don't know if that's gonna help at all. There we go, I feel like you can see it a little bit better now. Uh, but those are really pretty as well. Oh my goodness, we definitely have to do an updated Shot Miss H tutorial because there are so many new things. So many new things. So these are liquid blushes. Uh, they are the Color Flush Liquid Blush. There are five of them. I got all of them, of course I did. Uh, I've been really into cream and liquid blushes, so I am excited. I'm just gonna swatch them in little circles. Definitely an orangey bean. I'm gonna swatch it over here and see how I can blend it out. I'm sure we're definitely gonna be using these soon in tutorial because I can't wait. 
Oh yeah, they blend really nicely. Oh my gosh, Shannon, why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? But you can see it's like all right here. Uh, they're blending really nice. So I think I will probably, you probably should blend them out pretty fast because they do look pretty pigmented, but I would just like put a little on, tap it out and probably blend it with my sponge is what I think I'm gonna do, but we'll see. Okay. So pecan is this kind of lighter peachy one. That one was more orangey. Here, I'll show you these two together because they are very similar. Uh, pecan is just a little bit lighter, more of like a peachy and, this, and then rosewood is more of an orangey. The closer one in. They look so similar on my hand. Honestly, you probably could just get one of them, um, but maybe they'll, maybe they'll blend out differently, but they do look really, really similar. We've got more of a burnt orange kind of ready shade, redwood. This would be an amazing lipstick color. I feel like this kind of looks like Gingerbread Man from Too Faced as like, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it's so dark though. Um, I bet I could just use a tiny, tiny bit and blend it out. And of course, if you have deeper skin, this is gonna be a good one because there is a lot of pigment. The first two that I swatched were actually the lightest, I think. I feel like all these other ones look a little bit deeper. Next, let's do this kind of corally one, which is Cherry Wood. Oh, okay, so this one looks darker in the tube, but it doesn't have the same amount of like pigment, I feel, as the other ones. So honestly, cherry wood would probably be good, I would say. Of course, anyone can just like layer it on or use like just a little bit, but if you're just, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of an in-between shade and this would still be fair friendly. It doesn't look as opaque as the other ones, if that makes sense. So if you don't want quite as an intense of a blush, uh, I think that cherry wood would be a good one. Plus it's a very universal shade. I feel like this is gonna work for a lot of people. And then the last one we have is walnut, which looks absolutely gorgeous. It might be too dark for my skin, but I don't know. Honestly, I will make anything work. <laughs> Uh, I can always use it when I have a self tan on. I'm gonna have to just wash my hands over and over again. There's so many things to swatch. I can't even, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's like just kind of a darker nude. I want to blend this one out a little bit. Hmm. I'm just gonna blend, I'm just gonna put it right here. Cause I really wanna see what this color actually looks like. Again, this one is walnut. Um, I'm just gonna put it there. I'm just gonna do a little rubbing action, even though you probably would pat. Uh, but I mean, I rub my cheeks. Oh, it definitely, they blend out a lot lighter. Uh, so that's good. You can always layer it up if you want, but I think honestly, I'm gonna be able to make any of these work, even at my fairest, uh, just using them lightly. But of course you can use more. And there is quite a bit of pigment behind those, uh, but they're blending super nice. I'm really, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped on these. I was wish, wishing and hoping that they'd come out with something like this and they did. So I am super pumped. I grabbed a new pigment. They came out with, I think like five new shades and this one looked really pretty. This is in Magic. I don't even know exactly. It was like one of the last things that I popped in my cart. Oh my goodness. It's, oh wow, wow, wow. Okay, right there. Oh wow, okay. You need it, you need it, you need it. This actually, honestly, the color of it and the finish um, without the glitter because it's just like a shimmer, but it reminds me a ton of that little dazzle stick from, uh, I always want to say Cap on D, but it's not Cap on D. Vegan Beauty, K whatever it is, <laughs> KVD, uh, that dazzle stick that I used in my last tutorial. This looks super, super similar in color and it's a dollar and this is gonna last you for so long. You can just add like a little bit of glitter on top of it if you want. Again, this is one of the pigments in Magic. Honestly, that's so pretty. So pretty, so, so pretty. Ah, ah, I'm excited. Not sure if I already showed you guys these, but I did pick up some pumpkin masks. I keep forgetting to take these upstairs. It's been a blur the last month, uh, but I will throw these in probably Poshmark orders or just as bonuses, like in little Christmas gifts or something. I just thought they were cute. Uh, so I grabbed them, I got five of them. They came out with these new little, uh, like, I don't know, they're all sticks. So this is an aloe face primer. Uh, this is supposed to blur imperfections, fine lines, and the appearance of pores. This has been out for a minute, but I have not tried any of them yet. I feel like this one is one that I'm gonna really like because aloe obviously is gonna be a little bit of hydrating, I assume. Smoothing, mattifying, I don't know. I'm down though. I also got a squalene balm. Uh, so this is, and this one's vegan, like a skincare stick, I think. 
Squalene is derived from plant-based sources, works naturally sealing moisture and improve elasticity. It is known to be a trusted moisturizing ingredient, <laughs> I can't read, and a source of replenishing fatty acids and antioxidants. It's hydrating, fast absorption, easy with a stick. So that's awesome. I guess there was only, there might be four. There might be four now. I could be crazy. But then they also have a sunflower seed oil-based makeup remover. Uh, removes makeup, replenishes skin. Just another stick action here. Uh, we'll try and use these guys and update you on what I think. Uh, I got some of their new AOA Pro lashes. I cannot even remember which one was my favorite. I can't remember, but they all look really gorgeous. These are $5, which is kind of steep. And honestly, to be real with you, they are freaking gorgeous. I do notice a slight quality difference. I am always impressed with their $1.55 ones. I think they're great. Um, Jean, Jackie, I'm spacing other ones I love right now, but I honestly, I think those are fantastic. But if you have an, a few extra bucks and you want to treat yourself, I think that these are actually really gorgeous lashes. They are quite intense. So you have to like an intense look. I grabbed five of them. Um, I did go for more of the intense ones, but I feel like all of these like faux mink ones, they, the premium vegan mink lashes are just more intense than some of the other ones. Uh, so here's what these two look like. Elpis, E-L-P-I-S. And Cybel is this one. Super floofy. They honestly look a lot alike. So top one, Elpis. I don't know if that's how you say it. Here you can see what they look like. I haven't met a Shop Miss A lash I didn't like, honestly. Two brow products. I didn't remember that I had already gotten this. So I went ahead and got the Go Brow <laughs> Brow Mascara again. Honestly, you can't have too much. I don't remember if I've used it yet, to be honest with you, uh, but I don't know. And then I'm really excited about the Hold My Brow Brow Soap. Uh, so yeah, it's just long wear brow soap, sculpts, shapes, controls. You just wet your spoolie, go on in. I love brow soaps. I'm really, really excited to try this one. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you updated on that as well. All right, so now we're gonna swatch these last lipsticks that I got. I really do like this packaging. It's like a matte bullet, very nice. Looks nice, looks nice. I mean, it's plastic, but it looks nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm gonna just swatch down here, I think. Ooh, that's pretty. So this one, yeah, definitely kind of a satiny matte. Uh, first date, that was a bad swatch. Let's just make it a bigger swatch. Then you can't miss it. First date, let's just make this giant. First date, you can see it. <laughs> Fling looks like it's gonna be my vibe. Ooh, it's, it's pretty. Playing. Very, very gorgeous. This is what I'm doing so I don't disturb. So I don't disturb Luna in that I don't have to get up because then she'll get up and then she's got her cone and I just don't want her to have to run through things. Um, next I have Lover, which also looks like I'm gonna like it. World's Worth Swatches, but you got it. You got it. You know what's up right there. Orangey. Flirt looks gorgeous too. I'm gonna put Flirt at the top, honestly, because I'm running out of arm flirt is up here oh that's much more red than I thought it was gonna be it's definitely a red kind of a slightly bricky red we have charm you know you're shocked it looks gorgeous too oh I'm so surprised by these like I can see what they look like but I don't know they just they swatch much more pigmented than I expect them to I don't know why I'm giving you these giants I'm gonna be stained I am going to be stained but it's fine I'm not 100% sane right now, to be honest with you. I'm completely sleep deprived and it is what it is. <laughs> the last one is Kiss, which is a red. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's the winner. That's the winner right there. That one is freaking beautiful. It just looks, it looks like it's going to be a little hydrating. I feel like, okay, I assume they're going to be a little bit more matte because they were in this matte packaging, but they definitely look satin. I mean, they are a bullet lipstick. AOA Dreamy Lipstick. One, two, three. Yeah, there are seven shades. Dreamy, creamy, matte lipstick, seven skin tone flattering shades, keeps lips soft, lips soft and hydrated. I wouldn't exactly say they were a matte. I feel like there's definitely a little bit of a sheen to them. Wow, these swatches right now, you guys. I just can't even... I am not the best beauty YouTuber. I apologize, but I do my best. I still love makeup. It is what it is. Um, it is life. 
All right, love. So those, that was the rest of it. Wow. Lots of great stuff. Um, I don't even know which one. I guess this one I think is my favorite out of these. I would definitely recommend it. it looks super pigmented, really beautiful. It's going to be great for holiday. So kiss out of this one. Honeymoon out of the pencils and kiss out of this one. Those are my two favorites, a nude and a red. Uh, yeah, those liquid blushes I'm super excited about. I am excited about so many of these. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. I don't know how, like, Shop Masse, honestly, and especially if you're ordering for Shop Masse, I would definitely say stick with the AOA line. Of course, you can venture out if you want to, but the only time I've ever gotten stuff that I've really been disappointed in has been outside of the AOA line. AOA Studio is their house brand. It's like the makeup that Shop Masse creates themselves. So it's always just like a step up in quality from the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is such a great haul. There's so many new things. This is going to be the longest video. I can't wait to film a tutorial with some of these for you guys. Let me know what kind of look you want to see. Do you want a holiday look? Do you want just a basic fall type of look? What do you, what, well, if there's something in here in particular that you want to see, I mean, it might be fun to use this lipstick, but we can also do kind of more of an everyday look, uh, because I feel like that's a great thing. So people that, you know, don't have a ton of extra money, but want to invest in some makeup, you can literally get a full face of products from Shop Masse for probably under 20 bucks and, you know, be set, be set. You can probably get makeup and skincare. You could probably just like cover all the things, you know, it's, it's so good. Um, and they do offer free shipping over $35. So I always just try and hit 35 because free shipping, you know, why not? All right, loves. I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the Shop Masse haul. Again, I apologize for my absence, but I know most of you guys are going to completely understand. I'm going to go edit this for you. Get back in bed with my bean. Let her rest. Uh, cause she's been running on wild. We had to go to the vet this morning again, and she's just, she's, she's ready for a snuggle and a snooze. So I'm going to go take care of that. I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you could. And anyone that is missing the fashion content, I have so much coming. I have so many great videos on the way that I'm so excited about. I can't wait for you to see them. Um, we've got an Amazon haul, a Boohoo haul, a Rue 21 haul, um, a Zawful haul. I don't even know. There's just so many good things and I, I have some good ideas for holiday. Uh, I will definitely try and make up the uploads that I miss at some point. I was planning to upload a little extra in December anyway. I don't think I'll do Vlogmas, but I'm going to try and give you some extra uploads. All right. I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> it's great to see you guys. I missed you this week. Um, I also was just a ball of stress. So thank you for being patient. <laughs> Again, if you guys want to use it, there is that affiliate link down in the description box. All right. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you soon. Some makeup. Let's go ahead and jump into this haul. If you guys don't know, let's go. Let's just jump in. Oh, I shrank because I turned that way. <laughs> Funny. Of course, like they're a very expensive. Of course, they're very. What? Girl. Of Hi. What you doing? What are you doing? Binksy boy. Bird watching. I'm just going to wipe this on my leg because that's that's where we're at in life today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so glad she's doing okay. And I'm so glad that it was something fixable. I am just so thankful. So thankful you're okay. I'm not the best booty. Booty. <laughs> I did it again. 